today is laundry day. I've got a whole stack of these quilts um, that I need to start cleaning before I cut them up and use them. Um, I tend to soak my quilts for a day or two. I use a gentle detergent called RetroClean. After I soak them, I do put them in the laundry on gentle for another cycle, um, just because I know whoever's buying the clothing will actually probably put it in the washing machine as well. So the process involves soaking the quilt um, with the de gentle detergent in hot water, um, and I'm gonna start that process now. All right, so I've got this in here, that sort of first layer of dust and grime is coming off. I'm gonna let the quilt soak for a few hours. I will drain the tub um, and sort of squeeze some of the water out of the quilt. And then I'm gonna soak it again to like make sure that everything just really gets out. And then I tend to leave it overnight um, and then put it in the washing machine the next day. All right, so the uh, quilt has been soaking for a good four hours. You can see a lot of the um, grime has come out of it. So now I am going to drain the tub and um, refill it and soak it again. All right, so the quilt has been soaking for about 24 hours since the second rinse and this is about as good as it's going to get in the tub so i am going to drain the water squeeze the water out of the quilt and then i'm going to put it in the washing machine um, so after i drain the water and um, squeeze the excess water out of the quilt i will put it in my washing machine on a delicate cycle and a low temperature of water um, just because I know whoever buys the coat or accessories I'm making from it will also probably use a washing machine to clean it. So here I am at NextFab, which is where I rent studio space on North American Street in Philadelphia. Um, I got my quilt, it has been cleaned, it looks amazing, um, and I'm ready to cut into it. Some of the things I look for as I plan out where I'm gonna put my pattern pieces are, where is their damage, is it damage that I can repair, um, and what's the state of the binding, is it something I can use, especially with the popovers and quilt coats I like to use the original binding if possible. So this quilt had a section taken out right here. It looks like it was cut away. What I like seeing though is the cotton bat. I really like that. Um, and you can see throughout the quilt there are just little spots where um, there are some tatters or rips. Um, these are not so horrible. These are something that I can patch over either with um, fabric that I don't use from this quilt or with um, just the darning feature on my sewing machine. Um, but I do try to avoid them if possible. Um, another decision I need to make with this quilt is do I do like it's striped clearly. Um, do I do horizontal stripes or do, do, I, do I do vertical stripes? So I've got to think about that for a bit. But once I make that decision, then I lay out my pattern pieces and start cutting away. So the front is ready and now I will cut the back. I'm actually going to trace the back piece um, so I don't have to fold the quilt. Um, it's not that I'm trying to be super accurate, it's just a little bit easier. And 
I mark where the center is. This is a water soluble pen. So when I'm done, I'll like, when I wash the, wash the piece, the um, ink comes out. Um, so now I need to cut the sleeve and the collar. Um, if the quilt has enough width, I'm usually lucky and can slide the sleeve in here and woot, I am. So I realized after cutting that I had cut this where the bricks are horizontal and not vertical. Um, that's okay because this piece can get made into a maker caddy or something like that. So I am going to not use that and recut the sleeves so that they are vertical instead of horizontal. So you can see I have an oddly shaped remnant. Um, what I do next is make the collar, two patch pockets, and then any maker caddies or um, dot, bag, dot kits or anything like that. So there's quite a bit left over, so I think I can get a lot more out of this. So here is the finished jacket. You can see it has two patch pockets. The sleeve bricks are in the same direction as the body bricks. It's got a hang tag so it can hang nicely on a coat rack. And I'm going to hang it up because I've got a little bit of a show today at Next Fab in North Philly. Oh, and new for these coats, I decided to put some snaps on them so you can close them up if you want to.